Hey, I just received this battery here and it was $50 on Amazon. It was one of the cheaper ones I could find. So when you buy these mail order batteries, they always come with the acid in the box. We'll put that away. It comes with the, the bolts. So first, let's remove these things. And just fill it up. These nuts here, these nuts were square and rectangular. So I'm going to replace it. This is hot. And all right, the battery is in, the rectifier is in place, the bike is almost ready, except we still have those fast blinking lights, but. At one point they blinked a lot slower. So what I bought here is a relay. All right, it, it's in there. All right, time to find out. Turn on the bike. <clears throat> Signal. Signals do not work. So it turns out this little Chinese relay does not take care of my problem. And I'm gonna remove all the staples. On this side, you have a rip. Is in really bad shape. Water has been seeping into here. This is the pan for the seat of the Ascot and it is it's got glue and the foam actually kind of came off of it so in a way that's good because we are going to re-glue it because it was coming apart and this is our foam. It's not in great shape at this point, it's nice and dry. We're also going to use this. This is a kind of like adhesive spray for fabric. I have glued this using that spray and it seems to do really well. Let this dry overnight. And to maybe put it here. We do have this overlap. It's a little bit too much, but remember, I think it's better to be on the safe side. You should uh, take it outside and just run some sandpaper along and try to like smooth out all the surfaces start folding this but it does help to have a very good stapler staples in I'm just going to go to the opposite side you know at this point we have this but it's um there's all of these folds so we have to kind of work on the folds there's a lot of imperfections on it Staples here. I'm looking for imperfections and there's this line here. If you heat it up, it should come right out. All right guys, I wanted to talk with you about the Honda Ascot. And here we go. Look, it's the Ascot and it's looking so much better. It is freezing out here in DC, so that's why I'm not opening the garage just yet. But yeah, this bike has been kind of a cool project but of course I have not ridden this thing yet and that's one of the issues that we could possibly be running into so even though it's not perfect even though it's running at the starts it doesn't really mean much until I start riding it because the drivetrain could be messed up it's kind of strange that a while ago my neutral light did not turn on I really like this and you know I hope that this bike never becomes popular because I still want to get some good deals on them. This one's got like the, the rack over here. The only thing I'm going to be doing today probably is putting the bracket here so you can attach the seat down. So here's the bike all buttoned up. The only issue I have now is that I couldn't get the seat onto here so it's a little loose. So eventually that seat is going to be going <clears throat> a little bit more towards the bike, but it's got all the plastic. The only thing that's missing is the front brake. But look at this, how cool the styling is of the shock and getting it molded into this side plastic. This 
it should start without any issues and I did put the mirrors on I cannot resist it anymore I got this on here or actually I don't have it on there but I'm gonna roll this thing back and let me put it oh yeah don't use the front I just need to try this little hog out I think this is a very comfortable position the seat is definitely very plush I am just going to take it up the street and all right look at that it starts right up my rear brake yep rear brake works look at this first ride on the ascot guys and I'm in second all right look at that second gear it works I can't believe this thing is alive I can't believe it all right let's uh, move a little bit second a third fourth all right shift to second no delay third fourth fifth does it does it have a six oh yes got a six gear oh look at that when i turned on my six gear the od lit up i mean a little bit of an issue with the trip meter but i think it's fine yeah <laughs> so it's funny when i put it on six gear it's overdrive and that lit up i had no idea that's uh suspension actually seems fairly good Guys, I just received my rebuild kit from All Balls Racing, and it, I'm, I've never done this on a bike. This is the brakes. I'm probably going to still clean it up. You can watch what I did before. And these are the gaskets. This is really what's causing the issues, I think. These are the old ones. And what happens, like, there's like a lot of crud here on the, the backside and it builds like rust and stuff and then it kind of pushes out or inwards the pistons and then these little pistons don't really work too well so if there's crud all over there this kind of gets stuck and that is the issue i think that's that happened i did scrub the living crap out of it but i just want to clean a little bit more before i put in all that stuff just using some q-tips i'm just going to get it in here in the grooves where the the gunk was man so these old rings were the cause of it so the big o-ring goes at the bottom and then the this one goes at the top i've run the compressor removed all the debris and now this is the part that i've never done before so we have all the little rubber bits here and take the big one make sure that doesn't have any debris and then just lubricate it boom 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 and now we're gonna fit it i think we'll start here on the left and i hope i hope this works here okay it's crooked why is it crooked okay hey it's in there nice oh i can't believe it. it's actually fits perfectly thinner one and we're gonna put it up on the top remember i haven't done this before this is new for me i never rebuilt a brake and <clears throat> let's uh lube this one make sure it's clean or brake fluid and now let's lube up this one little bit here this goes into here and it kind of like it's like makes it float around but so i'm just going to put grease on this top part and this will fit up top here it has to go in this caliper part i was trying to put it around here but i think the way you're supposed to do it is like this this kind of goes in and then this little lip here has to go on the hopefully you can see it if i can bring it in it doesn't really attach to this it attaches to the caliper itself like this 
So you, I guess you can put one in. Let's see if I can rotate it. So now it's in there and the small part is on the outside. I, I think I managed to do it. So the key, let me see if I can like push it back out so I can show you the way I did this here. So I just fitted the rubber without the little rod in here first. So it's in the groove. So now it takes some work to kind of get it past it. But now I just felt it entering. And now I should be able to kind of push it. And now it's on the outside. All right. Now I need to push this over. Okay, I think that's it. I think we got it. Don't want any grease in here. You just want the grease on the um, the other section. This has to be very clean. Having a bit of an issue pushing these things in. The pistons are just not going in and I wonder what the hell. Alright, this one's actually, actually going in so that's surprising. It really should not be this freaking difficult. Oh, it's going in easy now. All right, brake pads. Finally, this is where these really nice rods come into place. I'm gonna put some grease on these rods. We have to push this from here, slide it in, and now it's holding the brakes. Put some grease on this, and then Push it in, push your uh, brake pads in while you do this. And there we go. Brake pads are rebuilt. Now the only question is, are they well built? I don't know. Since this comes with the two banjo bolts, might as well just use them. Here's something I completely forgot, the bracket for the brake pads. So it also has this little clip, but this, I was wondering why they gave me an extra piece of rubber. And I think it goes here. And this, you also have to grease it, so let's grease that. Yeah, this actually fits pretty well. So I was wondering what that was about. So let's put this bolt in here and make sure you lube it, lube it well. So now I just have to attach this cable to the caliper. Brake pad, brake caliper is in here. Now I'm going to have to bleed the system. Get some time to get it all the way down. Make sure there's no bubbles coming out seem to be a pain in the ass to get out a little bit a little more and i'm just going to go up and down the road i can brake seems to stop hopefully see the brakes are not great at all but it does stop it does brake not very well though now it's moving And it breaks. All right, we got breaks. It is cold out without that windscreen to juice you up. And my knees are really exposed on this bike. You know, it's not like the Tenray or the uh, Elite. I'm gonna have to like take it for a spin maybe tomorrow and see if we can work out all the kinks. Oh yeah, I also have that plate that I don't want to lose. But yeah, bike is moving pretty well. Not a bad little thing. All right, let's put her in the garage and uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.